Okay, welcome to part four um, of this series. In this video, we are going to finish off the absolute very last thing of this sign up page, and then we're going to test it all out and see if we can sign up. Um, yeah, right. So, the problem is, problem is at the moment, say if you enter a first name and hit submit the form, the first name you enter disappears, even though it was valid. So, what we want to do is make sure that this stays. And the way we do this is by adding to the form, we're going to add a value attribute. And what that does is it sort of sets the default value. So if I just do sort of statically Bob there and reload this page, you see we get Bob in the form. So what we want to do is have some PHP code in here that checks if the form, that specific form um, thingy, is set. So in this case, it's post first name and if it is want to echo HTML entities that is right post first name which will output effectively output the first thing they entered HTML entities is just to prevent sort of any bad things happening if they enter like double quotes it'll mess up the HTML so we don't want them we don't want them to be able to do that so now, well, I'll just copy this down, this value sort of section, value attribute, and paste space, and paste space. Obviously for this one, it should be the last name. Oops. And for this one, it should be the email, like so. Okay, so we can test that now. Um, by um, simply resubmitting the form. So now if I just reload this page and type in some information that is not valid, like Bob, nothing for last name, and then Bob, okay, that's happened. Bob at Bob.com, oops, we need that. Sign up, stuff they typed in stays. So if we have Bob, Bob, sign up, you have been subscribed, check the database, Bob, 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 dot, Bob at Bob dot com has been allowed to subscribe. However, if the user subscribes again, um, it tells you something has gone wrong. You may have already subscribed. Reload this. No new row because they have already subscribed. That's the reason it didn't work. Okay, so that's the sign up page complete. Um, what you're going to do next is code the um, send mail page, and then we're going to send. Well, we're going to registry, register a user that actually exists, and then the email address, sorry, exists, and then send out an email to them to test this all out. Okay, the register page is very simple. Not the register page, sorry, the send mail page. So I just go to this page. At the moment, it's just a form that does absolutely nothing. If I open this code up, um, there's no error checking here. All it does is call the mail mail all function that we created if the form is submit has been submitted. Sorry, if it is submitted, so we need to check if it has been submitted using the is set function on the two variables that it would create. So if set if is set post subject post uh, is it called message? It was called message. And if it is, we just want to call mail all. Oops, not that. We want to call the subject as the first parameter, like so, and the message as the second. Oops, and then some headers as the third parameter. I'm just going to set the from header to admin at. Okay, um, this email address doesn't actually exist. It always makes sense that you should really always set this to one that does exist because some email clients will try to validate this to make sure that it's you know it's not spam. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's why you should always have the from header as something valid because really you don't even have to own this domain. You can set the from header to anything. I, mean, I could set this to like admin at Google or Microsoft or anything at all, which is why spam is so easy and such a big problem. Anyway. So now if we um, just go back to our sign up page and should have thought about this a bit more really, sorry. Okay, sign up. Let's have um, well, let's just have me. Okay, spell my name right. Okay, 
what's going on here. Oops. <laughs> right. Uh, and this email address that I've set up here, which is test. Ah, stupid form bug. Test one. I believe. So if I hit submit or sign up. Okay, now I've been subscribed after three clicks. Just check the database. Yeah, you see, it has been added. So now I can go to our here and just make sure we have no messages by reloading the inbox. And if I go to the mail, send mail page and just send a test email. Um, hmm. Hit send. Ooh, I spelled MySQL fetch a sock wrong. Brilliant. So let's go to our mail.inc file and MySQL fetch two S's. Okay, sorry about that. Not that it really matters. Well, it does matter, but it's easy to be easy to correct. Hit resend. Takes a little while to load because it has to send emails out to the server. Reload our inbox. We have this email. The sender is the th email address we specified in the from header. If I just open this up, you see we get hi, my first name, hmm, which was the message I entered, and then this unsubscribe link, which we haven't filled in yet. Now, this unsubscribe link should be. Um, Basically, it should be this unsubscribe page with the get variable added. So I'm just going to copy this now and go back to our backend file. And then to the end of this message where we said unsubscribe and then a blank thing, I'm going to paste that and then add the get variable email equals. And then that is going to be their email address, which in this case is we already have in the user email variable. Okay, so if I just send another message. I go to send email second. Um, this is a message just to show you that new lines will be sort of working automatically. And if I go back to our here, go back to our inbox, our webmail clients are not are here. You see now we have a new unread message called with the subject as second. If I open this up, this is a message, this is what we typed in, and we have this full URL um, with this get variable automatically added. So we can just copy that. If I paste it into a new browser window, you see at the moment it does absolutely nothing. I mean, it says you've been, you know, your email, email address has been removed, but that's just static content. If I hit browse, you see it's still there. So what we need to do for this is call the um, remove user function that we created, and we only want to do that if the email address is set. So we're just going to check if is set get email like so, whoops, like so, and if it is space there, we want to just remove user get email. Here we don't have to worry about validating this too much because people should only come from links in email addresses that exist. So we're not actually checking if the email address exists in the table, we're just going to try and remove it. If it doesn't exist and when we if it doesn't exist and we send it into the delete query, all will happen is it'll remove nothing. It'll sort of the where part will return zero rows and it'll remove zero rows. So that's not a problem. Um the only reason the, the only case when this would like like if someone comes to this uh page with, without specifying an email address, they'll just see this. Um which doesn't look very friendly. I mean you could set it up to display an error message if you like, but I won't be doing that for the purposes of this video. Okay, so um now we have the unsubscribe page made we can um, just test this by reloading this. It says we've unsubscribed, hit browse, our row has been deleted. So now we won't receive any new emails. I mean you could sort of send the user back to where they came from or you could basically do whatever you want with that. So that is the end of this series. We now have a fully working sort of subscription and unsubscription mailing list system. The unsubscription part is fairly important because you don't I mean people might not always want to receive emails. Um I did mention already if you wanted to integrate this with the user system you would uh, like have to set a another column instead of deleting the row because when they when they unsubscribe from the mailing list you wouldn't want to delete their account you'd want to just like set a setting for their account to like make sure they don't receive any future emails. But I won't be going into that here. Anyway, so that's the end of this series. Um 
thank you for watching and if you have any questions um, don't email me <laughs> um, no sorry um, seriously uh, if you do have any questions feel free to message me on YouTube um, I'll, pr I'll probably reply okay so thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful at least a little bit